Hello and welcome into this week's edition of The Pole Position right here on Racing News Now. As always, I'm your host, Garth Allen. Thank you once again for joining me today. If this is your first time catching a Racing News Now video, consider going down below and hitting that subscribe button and ringing the bell for notifications so you don't miss a thing going forward from RNN. On today's edition of the Pole Position, we've got four races to look back on this weekend. Two NASCAR races from Martinsville, Trucks and Cup were in action there. The k &M Pro Series West had their season finale at the Kern County Raceway Park in Bakersfield, California. And F1 crowned a champion a couple races early in Mexico. So we've got all that for you. We're going to start off, though, with k &M Pro Series West. They were in action Saturday night. Again, from the Kern County Raceway Park, the Napa Auto Parts 175. The same place that the Canaan West started the season is the place they ended the season. And they ended the season with the same driver in victory lane that they started the season. Derek Kraus sweeps the races at Kern County Raceway Park this season. Actually, his third win in a row at Kern County. His fourth win this season, though. A uh, very strong outing from Derek Krause, leading 148 of the 175 total laps in this race. He was followed by two Sunrise Fords in Ryan Partridge and Trevor Huddleston. A strong run for David Mayhew in the fourth position. And the other Sunrise Ford rounded out the top five. That was Derek Thorne, your 2018 Canaan West Series champion. The rest of your top ten were Haley Deegan, your 2018 Rookie of the Year. Cole Rouse, Cody Vanderwall, Todd Souza, and Matt Levin. Alright, so let's move on to the Camping World Truck Series on to Martinsville for the Texas Roadhouse 200 from the Martinsville Speedway. Johnny Sauter picks up win number 6 for 2018 on the paperclip, followed closely by his championship rival Brett Moffitt in 2nd. Myatt Snyder, Ben Rhodes, and Kyle Benjamin were the rest of your top five. Rest of the top ten were Justin Haley, Noah Gragson, Harrison Burton, Christian Eckes, and Timothy Peters. Rounded out the top ten. All right, final race of the weekend for the stock cars from Martinsville would be the first Data 500 for the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series. And boy, was it an exciting finish. It was a very controversial finish. But it was the definition of exciting. Um, whether you loved it or whether you hated it, it still falls under the exciting category. Uh, if you look at the definition of exciting, exciting doesn't always have to mean that you enjoyed it. People tend to use it in that way, but it doesn't necessarily have to be used that way. Either way, though, a thrilling finish from Martinsville as Joey Logano picks up the victory with a bump and run on Martin Truex Jr. in 3-4 and four on the final lap. Denny Hamlin came home a close second through all the carnage, almost stole himself a win um, after he has been eliminated from the playoffs. Could not quite beat Joey to the line, though. Truex came across the line sideways in third. Kyle Busch and Brad Keselowski rounded out the top five. Rest of your top ten were Kurt Busch, Chase Elliott, Ryan Newman, Daniel Suarez, and Kevin Harvick. Alright, so that is it for the stock car stuff for the weekend. If you missed any of our rewind shows for the weekend or you missed those races and you want a more in-depth look at what happened in those races this weekend, you want to go check out the rewind shows. They're all linked down below in the description Race results, post-race uh, media center thoughts, and point standings for both of the Martinsville races as well as highlights for the cup race. And then we also have an exclusive winner interview with Derek Krause for the K&N Rewind show. So you want to check that out as well if you want to know exactly what Derek thought about Saturday night. But let's move on to the open wheel stuff. Formula One. Uh, two races uh, left in the season now, and uh, we have crowned the 2018 Formula One champion. It is Lewis Hamilton with his fourth place finish. His fourth championship in the past five years, his fifth total. Um, an absolutely incredible run out of Lewis Hamilton this season. But he did not win in Mexico. Max Verstappen picked up his second win of the season down in Mexico City. He was followed across the line 
by a couple Ferraris also on the podium in Sebastian Vettel and Kimi Raikkonen. Like we said, Lewis Hamilton came home in third with his Mercedes teammate Valtteri Bottas rounding out the top five. Rest of your top ten were Nico Hulkenberg, Charles Leclerc, Stoffel Van Dorn, Marcus Erickson, and Pierre Gasly. Now there's another Red Bull car you don't see here in the top ten. That is Daniel Ricciardo. He made it ten laps from the end of the race before having clutch issues and he would land in the 17th position in Mexico. All right, so that will do it for us tonight here on Pole Position. Like I said, if you missed any of those Rewind shows, they're linked down below in the description. Go check them out. Uh, exclusive winner interview with Derek Krause on the K&N Rewind. Highlights on the Cup Rewind. If you haven't seen the thrilling finish from Martinsville, definitely some things to go check out in those Rewind shows. Um, we have, uh, let's see, what do we have coming up next weekend? All three of the, uh, National NASCAR Series are in action from Texas next weekend. Trucks, Xfinity, and Cup, and I believe F1 has the weekend off. Yes, they do. So it'll just be three NASCAR races next weekend, or next Monday, on, uh, pole position. All three of the Texas races, and of course we will have in-depth rewind shows for all three of those as well so you'll definitely want to keep an eye out for those next weekend and of course the diecast review will be up on wednesday as well to be the third edition of that as we get our some of our off-season programming started that isn't all of it we do still have some big things um coming we're not ready to announce just yet but we're getting close um, so keep an eye out for that stuff, but again, there will be a diecast review as there has been for the past couple Wednesdays. It'll be up Wednesday at noon as well, so you want to check that out. The third and final Venturini Motorsports car for 2018 that we haven't done yet, Leilani Munter. That will be our diecast review for this week, so you want to check that out on Wednesday. Uh, but if you haven't done it already, go down below, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss a thing going forward from r &N, and we're still trying to hit that 100 subscriber mark so we can get the 100 subscriber giveaway rolling. Uh, the announcement video is also linked down below in the description if you haven't seen it yet. Refer a friend, refer a family member, whatever you got to do to get us to 100 subscribers so you have a chance to win that really cool one-of-a-kind piece of Venturini Motorsports memorabilia. And hit that big thumbs up button if you like this video. It is much appreciated when you do. So with that, this has been the pole position where you always start on the front row. I'm Garth Allen for Racing News Now. Mm -hmm.